Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, we will look at the second application of the standard deviation known as the empirical rule. So, what is the empirical rule? The empirical rule, or also known as the Three Sigma Rule, was first coined by Abraham de Moivre in 1733. According to the empirical rule, for a symmetrical distribution, approximately 68% of the data values will lie within plus minus one standard deviation of the mean. Approximately 95% of the data values will lie within plus minus 2 standard deviation of the mean and almost all observations or 99.7% will lie within plus minus 3 standard deviation of the mean. This relationship can be portrayed by the diagram as shown. Now let's take a look at the differences and similarities between the Chebyshev's theorem and the empirical rule. First, both are used to make a broad statement about data dispersion, that is, they tell us the proportion of our data that lie between two values surrounding the mean. But while Chebyshev's theorem can be applied on any data distribution, the empirical rule can only be applied to symmetrical or bell-shaped distributions. Second, the calculation of distance from the mean in terms of standard deviation is the same for both Chebyshev's theorem and the empirical rule that is, distance divided by the standard deviation. But while we use k for Chebyshev's theorem, we use z for the empirical rule. Another difference between the two is that, for Chebyshev's theorem, after finding the distance from the mean, we proceed with the formula 1 minus 1 over k square. But for the empirical rule, no further calculation is needed. Instead, we just refer to the 68, 95, and 99.7 rule. Just like the Chebyshev's theorem, the empirical rule allows for a quick estimation of probabilities. Only now, it is specific for dealing with symmetrical distributions. So how do we apply the empirical rule? To do so, the first thing we need to do is to find the value of z, which is the number of standard deviations away from the mean. The formula is simply distance divided by standard deviation. Once we have the z value, we simply need to remember what z corresponds to according to the empirical rule. Let's take a look at this example. The age distribution of a sample of 5,000 people is bell-shaped with a mean of 40 years and a standard deviation of 12 years. Determine the approximate percentage of people who are between 16 to 64 years old. The first thing we need to do is to write down the information given to us. So we know the mean is 40 and the standard deviation is 12. To help us further, maybe we can visualize this information. As you can see, the mean is 40, so it stays in the middle. And we have the two limits, the lower limit 16 and the upper limit of 64. The distance between these values and the mean are 24 respectively. From this, we can calculate the z, which is just divide the distance between the mean and each value by the standard deviation. Here you can see the z value is 2, and we got that by dividing 24 with 12. Once we have the z value, we can just refer back to the empirical rule. Two standard deviation corresponds to 95%. Therefore, we can answer, since it is two standard deviation from the empirical rule, we can say that about 95% of the people are between 16 to 64 years old. Here is another example. Below are the graphs of two symmetrical curves. Answer the following. A. Which curve has the larger standard deviation? Now, if you remember, standard deviation is a measure of dispersion. So a larger standard deviation means we have a much wider, much spread out, much scattered values from the mean, right? So in this question, curve B has the larger standard deviation. Next question, what is the mean for graph A? Now, if you remember, for a symmetrical curve, the mean is right in the middle. So for graph A, the mean is 40. The third question, if the standard deviation for graph A is 2.5, using the empirical rule, about 95% of the observations fall within what two values? Now using the empirical rule, we know that 95% corresponds to two standard deviations of the mean. So to solve this problem, we simply use this formula. The mean plus minus 2 and multiply with the standard deviation. So here we know the mean is 40 and 2 is 
corresponds to 25%, and the standard deviation is 2.5. So here, the two values are 35 and 45.